Hello guys. This is Real Recaps. In this video, I will talk about A2023, American Apocalyptic, Psychological Horror Film, Knock at the Cabin. Before we start, I hope you will like and subscribe to the channel. The film opens with a little girl, when collecting grasshoppers and put in a jar, in the woods, outside the cabin that she is staying with her fathers. Suddenly, she sees a large man approaching her. The man introduces himself as Leonard and acts friendly with her, eventually joining her in catching grasshoppers. When then sees three other people emerge from the woods, armed with makeshift weapons. Leonard says that they are here because they have important job to do as Wynne becomes worried and run back towards the cabin. Wynne goes to tell her fathers, Eric and Andrew, about the strangers outside. Leonard knocks on the door and tells Eric and Andrew that they are there for a task and need to speak to them directly. The fathers begin to grow nervous and they try to call the police but the line is cut off. When the group try to break in, the family begins locking the doors and windows. However, one of them manages to sneak in and Eric tries to fight her, only to fall and loses consciousness. Andrew then fights with another stranger who manages to break in and beats him hard. The rest of the group appear and Leonard tells Andrew to stop. The four end up subduing the family while one of them tends to Eric's wound. A flashback shows Eric and Andrew meeting Andrew's parents and the silence shows that his parent is uncomfortable with their son's sexuality. While Andrew is disappointed, since they left after 45 minutes, despite a seven-hour drive, Eric promises they will always be together. Eric and Andrew are tied up, and the group puts on cartoons, for one. The group then begins to introduce themselves and their origins. Sabrina is a nurse, and has a half-sister. Leonard is a second-grade teacher, who also works as bartender. Redmond works for the gas company, while Adrian is a line cook. During the introduction, a concussed Eric complains about sensitivity to light. Leonard explains the reason for their presence is to prevent apocalypse. Apparently, all four of them have been seeing visions of apocalyptic events and the family has to sacrifice one of them to ensure humanity's survival. If the family fails to choose, they will survive and be the last people alive, as the catastrophic events will become true. They are also told that they can commit suicide. Since Eric and Andrew are adamant about not wanting to sacrifice anyone, Redmond steps forward and puts a white mask over his head. At this point, the sun reflects off a mirror in Eric's direction. Sabrina and Adrian beat Redmond to dead before Leonard beheading him. Another flashback shows Eric and Andrew when they adopted Wynne. Back in the present, Leonard turns on television to show the family about the events that have happened thus far. There have been tsunamis caused by powerful earthquakes in some parts of the world, leading to many fatalities. Leonard tries to reason with the family again to choose a sacrifice, but Andrew refuses to do so, while Eric looks confused. Another flashback shows Eric, Andrew, and Wen singing booty shoes together in a car before going to swim in the lake. Back in present, Sabrina treats Eric's wounds while talking about how she gets her first vision after she takes Eric back to the living room, Andrew tells Eric that he believes that the group is timing the whole thing and tries to make sure that Eric isn't being manipulated. Meanwhile, when attempts to escape through the basement but Leonard catches up to her outside and brings her back to the cabin. As the group continues to convince the family, Andrew believes that they are being targeted for being a same-sex couple as he recognizes Redmond as the man named O'Bannon who assaulted him at a bar years ago, but the group insists that they are not lying despite only know each other online. As Andrew keeps provoking them, Leonard shows the photo of kids that he coaches, which motivates him to do this thing. The next morning, Adrian cooks breakfast for Wen, Wen then takes the knife and sneaks Eric a knife, and he gives her a head up to do something when he nods. Andrew also tells Eric that his hands are loosening from the binds. Eric begins cutting the rope, while the group try to convince the family to choose again. Adrienne starts to plead her case. She reveals that she has a son, and she had visions, where she repeatedly seen his death and can't get his screams out of her head. She begs the guys to make the decision, but Andrew refuses to do so. Adrienne puts the white mask, as Leonard and Sabrina beat and behead her. 
they turn on television, where the news reports the spread of a deadly virus, which fatal to children. Eric soon reveals that he saw a figure, in a mirror, when the group killed Redmond, but Andrew dismisses it, as an effect of concussion. Andrew claims that he has been reading about the virus for months, and notices the report as pre-programmed, giving him more reason, to suspect that the group is lying. Eric then gives a sign to Wen, where she starts throwing a tantrum, to distract the other two, allowing Eric to cut himself free, while Andrew runs to the car, to get his gun. Sabrina hit him on the leg, but he throws dirt in her face, and gets inside the car. As he tries to load the gun, Sabrina breaks the window of the car and lightly hit him in the side, before he fires his gun, leading Sabrina to drop her weapon, and runs away. He makes it back into the cabin, and threatens Leonard. Sabrina runs back into the cabin, and a startled Andrew shoots her death. Another flashback shows Eric and Andrew in the bar. Andrews ends up in an altercation, with someone that looks like Redmond, before being assaulted. This leads to Andrew training in self-defense, and buying a gun. In the present, Leonard beheads Sabrina. Andrew also confirms that Redmond is indeed O'Bannon, the man who attacked him. Andrew orders Leonard to go into the bathroom, and locks him in. However, when they hear the sound of glass break, Andrew opens the bathroom, and shoots into the shower. But Leonard manages to ambush him, and disarms him, despite being shot in the arm. Leonard makes them to turn the television back on, where the news shows multiple airlines around the world, begin to experience failures, causing 700 planes to crash, without warning. Leonard speaks the same lines as the anchor woman, making Andrew to break the television. As Andrew tries to persuade Eric to leave, Leonard brings the guys outside, and tells them, they only have a few minutes, after he's done. Eric tells Wynne to hide in a treehouse, until someone goes to get her. Leonard begins to plead his case, but when they still aren't choosing, he slits his throat. After Leonard's death, powerful storm begins forming, with lightning hitting the ground, and trees. The guys return to the cabin. Eric tells Andrew, about the figure he saw in the sun's reflection, and he admits that he is starting to believe, that the group's stories are real. He realizes that they each represented aspects of humanity. Redmond is malice, Adrian is nurturing, Sabrina is healing, and Leonard is guidance. They are the four horsemen of the apocalypse, and their deaths are necessary. As Eric seems ready to be the sacrifice, Andrew argues with him, saying humanity is not worth saving, because they hate people like him, and Eric. Eric then tells Andrew, he saw a vision of older Andrew, an adult when they are close, and she is living her life, the way she wants, and finds someone who loves her, as much as she loves them. With this, Eric finds his peace, and grabs Andrew's hand, so he can shoot himself. After Andrew mourns his husband's death, he goes to get Wen, from the treehouse, as lightning hits the cabin, setting it on fire. The two walk until they find the truck that Leonard's group came in, since Andrew's car tire is slashed. Andrew drives with Wen, to a diner, where a crowd has gathered, to see the news of the disasters winding down. They return back to the truck. In the back seat, Andrew finds belongings, proving that the group was indeed who they claimed to be. Leonard really was a beloved coach, Sabrina worked as a nurse. And he also finds a picture of Adrienne, with his son. Andrew and Wen later leave together, while listening to Boogie Shoes. The End Thanks for watching.